I'm so dead. Oh. Well, I killed myself. Good job. <sighs> Alright, hello and welcome to another part of Dark Souls. Now, we got here from taking that forest path that I originally took and got Andre in the first part. The reason why we're here is so we can go kill the monarch butterfly and get the large ember, I believe. We're not going after that. It's just some souls for an ambush. Now, if you're underskilled for this area, be very careful about going in the center. We're really tracking through here. I mostly say that because of the heavy armored enemies right up ahead. In fact, we'll be facing one or two. Well, one for right now. as usual, so long as you know what you're doing, not be stupid, you'll live. And not be stupid. That could have gone a lot worse. Just saying. If you're human, there's a summon right in those bushes there. But as we are not human, and I died by stepping off the ledge, we're just going in by ourselves. There he is. Now, this boss is a bit different, as he uses only magic. So it's an entirely ranged battle. You can either dodge those or shield from them. I think you can shield them safely. Don't quote me on that. That's it. Now he does attack while this, well, like this anyway, so be careful. And by attack, I mean start running away when he glows, because he's going to explode. Yep. And there you have it. Again, this boss fight is actually much easier with the summon, as they are pretty much constantly attacking. Ooh. I'm actually surprised that didn't just kill me. go. Monarch butterfly down. 
Then all I gotta do is head up here. Lots of souls, either using that to level up or just do nothing with. And there you go. Key, soul, ember. And there we have that. I'll be seeing you. Be careful. But uh, since I was mistaken and have thought on it for a while now, uh, we're actually gonna go face Capra and the Gaping Dragon. One, because souls, two, because there's a ring, and three, because the ember. So let's just skip over to that. And here we go. Oh, that's a very bad start. Thanks. Use the stairs to your advantage. You can use them to run up and then roll down just to heal. You can use them to do whatever, basically. So long as you have creativity. On. <sighs> Study his moves carefully, as sometimes he has something that can get around your shield, such as that jump attack. Then I believe his two-handed slice, as well, can break your shield block, or just entirely bypass it. It's not exactly the funnest boss here, but if you don't have the master key, you gotta do it. Ooh, that was extremely greedy. But, that's Capra Demon done. Thankfully. And I down talk this boss a lot, mostly because you see him later. Sorry for spoilers, but you do. And he's just a regular enemy. Also because his moveset is annoying. So, with that in mind, we can now move on to the depths. And go get our large ember once and for all.
let's see if we can aggro this guy early. Oh yeah. Now keep in mind, this guy won't respawn. There's about three of them down here and none of them respawn, so... Whoa! Glad I spotted you before he came. Where is he? Or did he just literally run off? He's coming. Good. I don't believe he poses much of a threat. I could be wrong, just as I was with that divine ember. But nothing severe, so long as you have a shield. Or just keep your distance in general. And then right in here should be, yep, our large ember. Prize claimed, we can now leave. Oh, if only that were the truth. So try not to swing wildly at the bar barrels. If you manage to break him out that way without hurting him, then you're pretty pro. Thank you. I would have been in the there again. Been in the line. I said, Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Lorenzius. With the great spot. I will not forget my death. Alright, and that's him, Freed. Once he returns to Firelink Shrine, he will teach us pyromancy. If only we were smart enough to use it, though. Yep. look like him. Most exciting thing in the world. Uh, I think I missed a turn. If you choose to grab that item, be careful. Uh, yeah, I can't lock on to it, but there's a slime that'll drop down on you. Hmm. 
now we come to here, the Hall of Slime. can use something like magic or arrows to initially shoot them down and then hack and slash away at them. But for now I'm just going to go with this method because it works. key we should be able to get in here. If you don't have the master key, the key is much further down in the sewers. 